Mark, of course, who else? But you broke this story. What do we know? Thanks for having me. Well, we know that after years of sort of a drought to revamped Max, after quarters of lower than expected sales, lower than previous sales, Apple's planning to revamp Max to their lower end of the line. A new version of the Mac Mini now geared toward pro users, as well as a new MacBook that's destined to eventually replace the MacBook Air. This is their lower cost, a thousand dollar laptop. They'll be adding a retina display and, and thinner uh, edges to the screen to this year's model. Uh, the MacBook Air, um, you know, got a lot of buzz. Um, you know, what do you? What's the significance of them adding a, a lower cost laptop now to replace it? Right. So what Apple's basically seen over the past few years is that their pro users are not really loving their MacBook Pro. They've been updating it to try to mitigate that problem. They tried to do that in July with this new MacBook Pro update, but it sort of fell flat. Uh, there was concerns over the changes made to the keyboard. There was concerns over the speeds of the devices. They end up issuing an apology and a software update to fix some problems regarding the performance of the latest MacBook Pros. And at the same time, they've seen competition from HP and computers running the Chromebook operating system from Google really gaining market share and lots of sales from both professionals and consumers in addition to education customers. And this new laptop is sort of their response to that. And it's interesting because Apple sort of pioneered this consumer laptop with the MacBook Air uh, back in 2008. Steve Jobs actually introduced it. He pulled it out of a, a yellow uh, manila envelope. And now 10 years later, it's getting a significant overhaul with this year's model. How does this fit into the upcoming phone lineup and, you know, add to this sort of family of products? Right, so what Apple's planning for this fall is a very big blitz of new products. They're going to be hitting several different markets, several different product categories over the next several months throughout the end of the year. That will be including new versions of the Apple Watch which, with edge-to-edge -edge larger screens, three new iPhones, obviously these Macs and iPads, uh, all sorts of cool new gadgets for the Apple faithful, but also consumers at large. So it's all part of this bigger uh, new product rollout strategy for 2018.